Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got our typical Sunday video, another consistent weekly video. We got what's coming up in this week of Madden now, guys. We have a big week of Madden. So, playoff promo did drop technically last week, but playoff promo's not done. Remember, the playoffs is the wildcard round, the divisional round, the conference championship round, and the Super Bowl technically, but the way Madden does it, we usually subcategorize Super Bowl after playoffs. So, for our, for our sake, we're going to be dealing with divisional, wildcard, and conference. Now, the wildcard round will be over as of, I believe, tonight. So, we already have some winners. You know, the Bills won. Watch the Buccaneers win. We watched the Rams win, so those are some guys who could potentially get some LTD cards, like maybe a Josh Allen or, you know, a Tredavious White or something like that, but those are some guys that can potentially get LTDs now. The thing is, there's a few things we could be seeing this week. I will get into all that as we get through it, but guys, before we get into today's video, make sure to below, like the video, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, if you guys need any coins or anything, head over to Mount Reserve and take advantage of the 30% off discount. It's a third of the price off. You really can't beat it. Use code Poodle 15%, oh, 30% off, sorry. But yeah. Let's get into that, some of that stuff, guys. But like I said, what I want to cover real quick is first, remember, I don't know how Madden's going to do the playoff promo this year. We could get modern playoff LTDs. We could get uh, past LTDs, or we could get both. So like, let's say we could maybe get, I, I would hope, I don't know if we will, but this would be super cool. We could see like a 96 overall Colin Kaepernick flashback to like 2012, 2013 in the playoffs against the Packers. Uh, like, let's say for the conference round or division or whatever it was. Or we could see, you know, a flashback RG3 to the wild card round. Or maybe we could see... A current week like a cam makers cam makers wild card of ltd so i don't know how they're gonna do it but i think either way it's gonna be cool but the point is be expecting now let's head over to some of the other pictures and guys as you guys see this was the playoff format last year we got all the heroes right these were all the heroes that we got then of course we're gonna be looking at some other stuff as we get past so last year they kept it strictly heroes it seems like i don't see any other ltds here uh i think last year's playoff promo was a bit like i think it was pretty whack i'm pretty sure that's what, that's what happened last year but last year like i said last year was the year yeah, we had the highest interest in Madden, and the least effort was given by the dev team. And this year seems to be one of the more high years of interest compared to last year, let's just say. They've, they've actually done a lot more uh, in terms of trying to incorporate a lot of content. And then, of course, we lost a lot of interest because people dealt with this last year. So, I mean, Madden has to understand that, right? Like, I don't think they get that. They're like, you know, we're putting so much effort in. Now it happens. Like, well, you, you lost a lot of people last year. But point being is that you can't exactly compare this promo to last year's promo. It could be very similar, but I'm hoping we get some LTDs because that's what they missed last year. One of the most fun things is always getting, like, nostalgia, like, Marshawn Lynch flashback to the Beast Quake back in, like, you know, 2000s, um, Russell Wilson's old performances, Tom Brady's old performances, you know, there's just so many games you could really go back to, and it would be really cool, it's like a nostalgia feel, it's just nice to see, like, oh, wow, you, like, you remember it, like, you see, like, Colin Kaepernick, 300 combined yards, three touchdowns, and you're like, and maybe a picture of him kissing his bicep, and you're like, when was that? It comes all back to you, then you go look up a YouTube video on it, because that's what you do, right? You look up a YouTube video on that day, you watch all the highlights, and you pick them up because that was so cool, and you pick them up and play with them. That's what Madden's missing is that real, real life to video game connection. That is why those flash, uh, those throwbacks to LTDs would be so cool. Or even current ones, right? Cam Akers, 130 plus yards, two touchdowns, led the Rams to a victory over the Seahawks in the wildcard round. That's kind of stuff we need back in here. And I think they could do it. Like I said, this typically does go, like, this is the issue. Last year, they dropped the playoff promo for just the playoffs, and that was it. Like, they didn't, like, it wasn't much more. Now, yes, we had um, we had Marshawn Lynch here. That was one of them. We had some stuff, but it wasn't like too. It wasn't too immersive. You know what I mean? Like there was some stuff there, that was cool. But like a 90 speed Marshawn Lynch didn't get the job done. You know what I mean? Like we got a 90. We got a 90 speed Marshawn Lynch, and that's kind of just the deal. What happens there? Now, I just hope that they make the re the requisite changes here. Now, hopefully, if they do do so, guys, we could have a really really cool promo. And, you know, and that's not, that's just the tip of the iceberg, because the thing is, promo, this promo goes throughout, like, the month, uh, like, throughout, like, middle of the month of January, because we have a few weeks of football, and then we have the Super Bowl, and then we also have Team of the Year, and it keeps going from there, so, now, the Super Bowl promo usually drops late January, right, because we have the wild card this week, which means around the 17th, we'll be closing out the Divisional, which means around the 24th, we'll be closing out the Conference Chip. Now, that next two-week break, we have the Pro Bowl, and then the Super Bowl, right, so that two-week interval is typically around the time the Super Bowl promo drops. So we're not outside yet. Let's move on to the next thing here, guys, real quick that I want to cover before. Remember, guys, Series 4 also comes out this week. So on top of all the playoff content we could be expecting, Series 4 will be dropping 
um, sometime within the week. Because, again, they gave us the week heads up. So, sometimes at the end of this week. I forget the exact day. We'll see right here. The 15th. So, five more days. So, five days from today is going to be, I believe, Friday. So, oh, it says right there. So, we have Series 4 coming Friday. So, that's another thing this week on top of more playoff content. Uh, series 4 is going to be cool. Of course, we've been waiting a while. I don't recall when our last series update was. I'd have to say it was sometime in October slash November. If, I, if, I'm not, if I'm not wrong here, it's either late October, early November. But it's been forever. Like, you know how long that is? That means we, we went, you know, Halloween had just passed. Then we went through Thanksgiving. Then we went through Christmas, New Year's. And here we are still waiting for it. It's been forever. They gave us some reasoning for why. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's not exactly the hardest thing to get out. I know they had a holiday break, but they could have made it. How about back in January? I mean, how about back in November? I could have made it back then and just had a preset ready to go. Point is, guys, as of this week on the 15th, your trophies will be cut in half. So do what you feel is necessary for that, whether it be spend them, keep them, cut them, cut in half, buy coin quick sells. Also, if you have a lot of expensive LTD players in your team, I highly recommend you get rid of them, especially if the market still allows for you to do that. As you guys do know, LTDs will be getting Redux players. Guys, you see the link probably above. If not, you guys know how to look this up. Series for update details, Kralo. You'll see it on the Twitter. Go check this out. If you have any players on this list, I highly recommend you look into selling them if the price is still worth it. Because as of now, players in this list are pretty expensive because their limited time can no longer be pulled in packs and they're expensive. Once their Redux option does get released into the game, the cards will go from 500, 600k to 200k, 150k. It is going to essentially kill them. Uh, Michael Strahan is a good option. Like he goes, he was going for like 700k for a little bit, 600k. He may only be 350 after this. Now that doesn't mean he's you know you're gonna lose him, but why not get your value of 600k? Then you can go buy him back for 350, and then you can go ahead and keep that extra 250k to yourself and go buy another card. Maybe you could, you could actually you could probably turn one of these LTDs like Rich Gannon for 700k the other day. You could probably turn him into Rich Gannon and Michael Strahan. You could buy him back for both 350 with their Reduxes. I'm just saying I would highly look into um what you could do with that you know for the most part. But yeah, that's Series Four. Let's get to the next thing we'll talk about. Team of the year. Now, team of the year last year did drop on the 14th. That would be four days from today. That would be Thursday. I do not think it is dropping on the 14th. Um, I'm not sure when they're going to drop it, but it, it should be this week, or at least we'll have some info or hints or some kind of reveal by the end of this week. I mean, then again, they could drop it this week, but it was the 14th last year. Like I said, I was in Spain at that exact time, so I'll never forget when team of the year dropped. I just left to Spain, and I was like hoping team of the year wouldn't drop just yet, and it did. But nonetheless, Team of the Year is one of the most exciting. Honestly, Team of the Year may be my favorite promo of the year, every year. Team of the Year is just so cool. It's like the, the bridge from, like, good cards to endgame cards, and at the same time, super cool card art, and, you know, kind of stand for some, like, Team of the Year. Like, these are the elite of the elite current day players. And not to mention, guys, you get your free Team of the Year player this week. So if you guys have been playing your Team of the Week solos, you know, this year, you will be getting your free Team of the Year player. And don't forget, you also get a free one regardless. Typically, Team of the Year introduces two free Team of the Year players. You get one for the tokens, and you get one for playing, right? So... Uh, like, if you didn't do your Team of the Year solos, you'll still get one from the solos. But if you did do your Team of the Year solos, you will get one from doing the solos and that. So you get two. So you can essentially get two free Team of the Year players. You can essentially go ahead and enjoy this. And on top of that, and it's always fun. Like, the packs are always fun. Because, like, your free pack will be a fantasy pack. So it will be, like, a defensive slot, an offensive slot, and a specialist slot. So as you scroll through the pack, it's like, okay, so let's say you really want an offensive player. Maybe you hit it from the back. You don't want to get to that spot first. Unless it's the first spot, I forget. But, you know, the specialist, okay, so I got a, I got a kick return of Cole Hardman. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely not picking that one. You go to defense. Ooh, I only got the 96 KC Hayward. I really didn't want that. Please, offense. Then you get Russell Wilson on the offensive end. You're like, you know, sigh of relief. Like, you did it. You got the best one. And those packs just super. Like, those are the, some of the most fun packs of the year is those uh, fantasy packs. I really love those Team of the Year fantasy packs. So, hopefully, you know, we still keep the same format. Now, I don't know who we'll get. Obviously, I will be doing uh, predictions at some point as the time nears. Team of the Year is going to be tough to predict this year because, like, obviously, like, guys like Saquon Barkley were out, and then guys like Chubb. I mean, I'll probably lean toward Chubb, and then Chubb got one, I believe, this year. Uh, this one, right? I'm pretty sure in this Team of the Year, Chubb got one. So, I don't know if they're going to repeat it, probably. You know, guys like Chris Godwin were hurt, so then you got to switch it up. Some younger guys like Justin Jefferson stepped up, so, like, does he make Team of the Year, even though he's a young guy? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be a weird year. Like, quarterbacks, Mahomes just got a card. Can you give it to Cam Newton? He didn't play that well. He's not getting a card, obviously. That's not Team of the Year ad uh, adequate. Daniel Jones? Nope. Russell Wilson, like I said, Russell Wilson's always a good option, but do we want to, are we going to get him again? You know what I mean? So, like, who else could it be? Derek Carr? No. Tom Brady? Probably not. I believe he just got a card not too long ago. He did, actually. And you just look at the quarterbacks. Big Ben, I mean, I guess, but, like, did anyone want a Big Ben team of the year? You know what I mean? It's going to come down to a lot of factors, and it's going to be hard to predict, but you have to go through all the cards. Aaron Donald probably will get one. He always seems to get one. 
Tyreek Hill will probably get one, even though he just got one as well. But, and then you have to also take into effect, like, who might win awards. Because sometimes EA does that. Like, they didn't give Mahomes his team of the year because they had a feeling he would win MVP. Or Super Bowl MVP. Or, Super, or some kind of Super And he got Super Bowl MVP. So, that's kind of how that worked. But, guys, I pretty much wrapped up today's video. I mean, all I got left to show you is going to be this really quick, which is that's it. That, that's it for today, guys. I have nothing else to cover. We do have the team of the week. Um bundled 14 15 16 and 17 weeks so just stay tuned for that i don't think it's gonna be that exciting at the end of the day unless the only way this will be exciting is if madden wants to be cool with us like like a cool dad real quick and go ahead and give us adjusted overall so what i think they'll do which is what they have done in the past so i drop week 14 with like 93 overalls and two overalls and it's like yeah those aren't usable cards and then the week 17 will be like a 94 overall 95 maybe if you're lucky but again not usable cards in terms of like how they'll drop them probably now, the only thing that would make those drops super exciting if they decide, okay, we're going to adjust it to now. So, week 14 here is going to be a 95 overall. Week 15 is going to be 95. Week 16 is going to be 96. And week 17 is going to be 97. Or 96s, let's just say, with power up. Now, that would be cool. That would be something that they could really do that would actually make this drop worthwhile. Otherwise, guys, the way, the way I see that is that they pretty much wasted the last four weeks of our team of the week. They took them, they crumbled them up. Because at the end of the day, guys, promos and cards are nothing more then unique timing, right? 87 overall, basically Patrick Mahomes isn't a good card unless you get him the first week or month of the game. Then he's amazing, right? Then, then, he's, then he's such a fun card to play with. But if you get him now, right, he's going to feel like crap. And that's, that's the same thing. Like, Team Believe, by taking them and expand, like, timing is so important in this Madden. Like, cards are only good at certain intervals of time. And, like, you know, some cards may feel like the greatest, glitchiest card in the game, but then a month later, they're, they're no better. They're not even worth being on your bench. They're, they're horrible. They can't play anymore. That is, like, kind of the um, the curve that this game takes. So, hopefully, you know, they, they go ahead and make at least adjust them to at least 94s and 95s, right? And 96s so we can at least get usable cards. Don't even bother giving us 92s and 93s. But that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on. And of course, if you need coins to pick up anything, head over to my reserve and take advantage of the 30% off. Use code Poodle for the 30% off. I'm out. Peace.